knee that but I'm gonna start with it again. Yeah that. As soon as I leave I get the fucking silence. And this is non stop. It's time to when I do certain things, so I'll just come back to the flat to get some shit after my last video. Shut my windows and yeah. This shit. And you can hear it. it. Don't fucking stop, man. So I'm going to call so you get an idea of what it's like all the time in this fucker. Non stop, man. It's just non stop bullshit. It's just non stop. with kids so I'm not filming but it's a faggot in shorts and it's early March man it's not warm I'm trying that faggot shit I had some fucker literally hear it and it's multiple ones it's not an emergency this happens every single day every time I leave this happens it's not a fucking emergency unless emergencies are happening every day in the same place. It's just a fucking harassment, man. And the psychological warfare shit. Yeah, I had some motherfucker yesterday. So, I had some old fucker yesterday just walked past me, it was far. This was an old guy, man. It was just far. It just goes, my bad. These, these fuckers have done that shit before, you know what I mean? They did it on the bus once, so I humiliated them. You know, they, they do all kinds of immature shit that you wouldn't believe to harass you and try to make you think you're crazy. They like they like the gay shit and they like the fucking disgusting shit. So a bunch of queers and fucking faggots. They need blowing in the head with a shotgun. You know what I mean? That's what they need. Fucking bitches, man. It's the only blow job you need, man. Is a shotgun shell in your head. Cause you you're on your bullshit. But you'd like a blowjob, wouldn't you? But you, that's the blowjob you need, is a fucking 12 gauge slug in your head. Now look at this bullshit. This, this is bullshit, man. I'm trying to relax. What fuckers are about you? He's trying to chill. And this is what they do, man. Trying to invade your personal space. See what I mean? Look at these motherfuckers, man. These fools.
there's a siren as well. Well, they like to get all the dog walkers out when I go out. Like that shit. Bunch of pricks they are, you know what I mean? And they like the little bicycles, the high visibility on. But yeah, this is. You'll get better in the summer when that. You see, there's like a hedge there. When that's grown, or bare, uh, they can't really do the shit they're doing now easily in the summer because. Um, Shit has grown up, so they can't they can't do the bullshit. I mean, they can use the motherfuckers here, man, but they can only do it to so much of an extent. Yeah, they they, uh, they do the bullshit, man. Well, they do it My moped perp twat, he's still doing the shit as well as usual. They send, they usually send, we we'll send him after I upload a video, he usually turns up. That twat. He's a bell end he is. he's a pussy hole as well, he doesn't do shit. I did something really pissed him off not long ago and he answered shit to me, you know what I mean? Fucking pussy hole piece of shit. Uh, most of these people are pussies and pieces of shit. Well, downright weird, like this guy that was harassing me here before, man. It just sounds like a fucking weird motherfucker, you know what I mean? Like, like he touches boys up or something. They're, they're like the weirdos, these perps. They, they're a weird bunch, man. They are a weird fucking bunch of motherfuckers. That's for sure. Yeah, man, it's like... This shit's gonna go on for the rest of my life. I'm just gonna laugh, man. Cause it's like a practical joke, you know what I mean? It's like... It's like, it's, I'm not laughing at my life, I'm laughing at this world, you know what I mean? Because if this world does this shit to people, man, the human world, and that, and that shows how pathetic human beings are, man. really does show how low humanity is getting. It's, it's, it's the kind of bullshit they're going to do to someone all their life. It's so cowardly as well, it's like, they'll never, they'll never say anything to you. Unless it's subliminal, so you think, hmm, did he, did he mean this, did he mean that? They'll never come up to your face and say, you're a cunt, you're like, fuck you, you know, something like that. Um, unless they're uh, ticking on a, a kid or something, or a woman. A grown man, they, they don't want to say shit. It's like, I, I, I've seen someone, I believe, is perfect. Or maybe one of them, maybe related to this program. Because at the minute, man, I keep seeing people from my old college. It's something they've been doing the last two years. It's having people from my uh, college, students and staff, uh, turn up in places I go. So I go out this morning, like I said, to deliver this lady these uh, CDs. And then, you know, I see, I see someone from my college. It's always people that don't like me. That's what Shut tells me is deliberate. Because it's usually people that don't like me that I see, you know what I mean, staff or students, it's usually ones that don't like me, that's what tells me it's deliberately being done, he just looks at me man, like, kind of glaring at me, so I just look at him like with a smile on my face, just like laughing, he doesn't say shit to me, you know what I mean, he's just a fucking idiot, he ain't got no bottle man, he ain't got no fucking balls, say anything to you unless they're backed up by people or in a place where they know you don't want to do anything. 
they'll do this stalking shit. They'll do shit which is makes you where you're not sure if they're fucking with you or not. Like snake shit, they'll do that shit. But they'll never come to your face, man. You know, they'll never come to your face and say anything. They might smile as they walk past, but that's the most they'll do. So as soon as you call them out and the bullshit will start filming and that smile goes. You know what I mean? Now that smile goes. That little smirk, that, that most dedicated cunt has, that, that smirk that wipes off his face when I start going up to him and say, why are you following me? Stop following me. You know what I mean? He's, he's not smiling, man. Not smart. They're not, they don't smile when the camera's in the face. Oh, yes. Because the pussy holes, it's like they they be scared when when you shine the light. Like I said, I, said, I literally said that to that milper perp. He was he's like it's like behind the wall, and he was fucking about with the uh, one thing he started doing again, which is every time he comes, he'll make the alarm, do certain noises, like he'll, he'll go wait 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 like that. So. I just heard that noise. I was like, what the fuck's that noise? And I seen him around the corner. And I was just like, yeah, hide in the shadows, you cunt. You know what I mean? It's like, these motherfuckers, all they, all they do is hide in the shadows. Like, like fucking cockroaches. Just pathetic. Pathetic excuses for human beings. And the handlers, and whoever designed this program, you're the biggest cowards. Because you... You hide behind your perps. And you, you won't even speak to T.I.'s face, man. You know, you, you're pathetic to me. You hide behind the police or the perps or whatever. And you don't even know the T.I. You're pathetic. Absolutely pathetic. I mean, I, c I can't see this shit stopping, man, to be fair. I can't see it stopping until this program is uh, obliterated and it's a whole knowledge of it. Knowledge is increasing of this program. I mean, I, I sent my dad, who's a skeptic, I sent him a video of uh, uh, that woman, that German woman, I think German or Swiss, I can't remember her name, Dr. Catherine, Catherine Horton, that's it. Uh, she's quite a good person to watch because she's she was a science she is a scientist so she's a target. But I, th I think knowledge is increasing, but it's a slow hurdle. It's a slow process. You know what I mean? But I think I think the ultimate destruction of this will come with the destruction of. Uh, society, but it is on its way out, man, I mean, it, it is, they'll turn on each other, man, that's what's going to happen, they'll turn on each other, you can already kind of see it happening now, like with Donald Trump, um, you know, turning on his agencies, they're all going to turn each other and destroy each other, really, whether it's countries or otherwise. There's no honour among thieves, is the same, and honour is what holds uh, people together. There's no honour, and there's no uh, respect for anyone. And obviously, they're not going to respect each other. So this uh, whole thing. Of course, we've got the blue, and then we've got the uh, the dogs. You know, of course, that's the its colour right now, isn't it? For the perps. You know what I mean? Can't really see. I don't know if you can see because the sun's shining on the camera. But yeah, it's like. You can already see it starting to happen, but then they know it. The amount of police is reducing and reducing, it's shrinking and shrinking and shrinking. 
in this country anyway. I don't know about the States, but in this country the police is shrinking and shrinking and shrinking. It's because nobody wants to be police. Nobody wants to be police. No one trusts the police, man. They know, they know they're not to be trusted. When, when the police force is shrinking and shrinking and shrinking and shrinking, that tells me that, you know, people are less trusting of the police and don't want to be police. I mean, I know, I know nearly everyone in my generation. Probably, I'd say, like, apart from the posh snobs who have no idea, like, four-fifths of them, maybe three-fifths, don't like the police or trust the police. You know what I mean? It's only the stupid ones or the naive ones that do. Most people don't like the police. In Sheffield, I can tell you that now. Even the older people, man, don't like the police for what they did to the miners and for what they did with Hillsborough. So there's definitely uh, no one likes the police much these days. So, you know, maybe this is the future policing. Is there won't be policing? You'll, you'll be you'll be targets of these kind of programs. Well, anyway, this this society and civilization, you, you're looking at its final chapter. You're looking at probably the last 100, 200 years of this civilization now, before it collapses. Maybe 300 if it's lucky. 50 at the least. Of course, we've got the sirens and the horns. Did you hear it horning? Yeah. I don't know if I picked it up. Tell me that's normal. No matter sirens you hear in my videos every day, is that normal? Is that always an emergency? No, it's not. It's not fucking um, Chicago. You know what I mean? Guys aren't getting shot every fucking two minutes. Guys aren't getting injured every two minutes. But you'd think it is by the amount of sirens here. It's like every fucking ten minutes there's a fucking siren. You know, there must be something going on every fucking ten minutes. I don't think so. It's the psyops, it's the psychological warfare. It's the uh, targeting. I believe it's being done on a bigger scale as well, because I think it's being done to target the whole city with this sirens to... I mean, this... I think they're trying to create a state of fear for this uh, to bring in uh, I don't know maybe to try and make the population more fearful so they can control them easier get them to believe things more all subliminal it's all subliminal until we understand what's going on you know what I mean Um, it's real. It's, it's, it's not a lie, though. It's, it's, it's not. It's not. It's not conspiracy to me anymore. It's, it's real shit. I live this shit. You know what I mean? I'm, I love this shit every day, man. This gang stalking shit. This targeting shit. I, mean, I live. I live. I live this shit. And this is this is just the prototype stage. It will be. In the future, right now, they have to be very careful who they pick, how many they pick. I believe in the future, you know, they're just going to target any everyone they, they want, and it's going to be a lot more harsh. So, you know, yeah, this shit has got to be exposed. Uh, we have to fight these people any means possible. Any means necessary, any means possible. We have to fight these motherfuckers, man. And that's that's it. That's literally it. Can't trust our governments because our governments know exactly what they're doing. Can't trust our police force because they are participating in our targeting and they 
will not help us in any way when we report this and they're also a big part of it. Uh, we can't trust our paramedics because they're a big part of my targeting. They're one of the main forms of my targeting is with the paramedic sirens and the ambulance sirens. Um, and even the fire service, you know, I mean, a part of this program. It's just, it's just non-stop. You can't trust any part of government. Not now. I used to trust the police. I mean, back when I was young, I used to think they were the good guys. I used to believe all that bollocks. But the police were on the side of the people and they were out to get the criminals and what have you. But you know, that's, that's come to me to be a load of bollocks because the police haven't helped me in any way. Um, they could have... I got assaulted a few years ago and the police could have arrested who did it and they didn't. This was before I kind of, uh, well, about six, seven years ago, you know what I mean? They knew who did it. They didn't do jack shit, you know what I mean? I got in a fight, I got injured. Uh, I was Basically, I was defending myself. and you know, The police knew full well who did it, and they didn't do jack shit, you know what I mean? Well, I didn't know what could do. So, you know, fuck the police, man. Police are not um, helping nobody, apart from the government. So I recommend if you're a police officer, you quit now because, you know, it's it's, uh, it's just not a, a viable job if you want to be protecting the community. You're going to be used to oppress the community. You're going to be used to maybe even target people to do this psyops, especially, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't even recommend you be a paramedic either. This is how we destroy this system is by not participating in it. And the less people that participate in this system, the less power this system has. So don't join the army. Don't join the police. Maybe join the paramedics, but do the right thing. But don't join the army or the police. Because you, you know, if you, if you, uh, I, I was in touch with a TI, and he was in America. He, he was a target. He. He was targeted. I'm not disrespecting him in any way because he, he seemed a cool guy, you know what I mean? I haven't heard from him in a long time, but I just think if you join the police, if you're in um, Afghanistan or somewhere like that, or wherever ISIS are, and you're being oppressed by them, right? But at the same time, you want to join them and fight with them. That's basically what you're doing. If you're being gang stalked by the government, which it is the government, it's a government funded and run program, only they could afford this shit or get the technology involved or have the resources involved for this kind of stuff, then if you're joining the police and you're a target, you're joining the same people, same group that is trying to destroy your life. I just don't understand that logic. I'm not disrespecting you in any way, but just think about it. Would you join ISIS if you were being oppressed by ISIS? Would you join that, the Taliban if you were being oppressed by the Taliban? I don't think you would, would you? So just think that through. You know, me, myself, I wanted to join the RAF when I was younger. It's one of my... Uh, Childhood dreams was to be a fighter pilot. Um, no, and it would have never happened anyway for reasons I'm not going to go into. But I'm kind of glad I never went down the armed forces route. Um, I wouldn't want to be a a soldier, not for the government. I'll be a soldier, but not for the government. I'll be a soldier for the people that. Uh, downtrodden and oppressed. That's what I'll be a soldier for. That's a true soldier, not a soldier that's oppressing people, blowing families up. A true soldier is someone who protects people, you know, and f fights for what what's right and what they believe in. 
fake soldier is a soldier that fights for corporations and for greed. I think that's shit through, right? 